ChatGPT 5 was launched yesterday in a live stream at OpenAI's official channel. Until then, many YouTubers have made a video testing GPT 5, but a lot of people in the comment section are actually confused that how are they getting the early access related to GPT 5. Well, in this video, I'll talk about GPT 5 and in the end, I'll talk how can you access GPT 5 for free until it is not rolled out for the free users on chartgpt.com till then before going further into the video if you want directly to see how to use chartgpt for free you can skip to the end part of the video because in the beginning i'll be discussing something about gpt5 so here is the openai.com official website introducing chartgpt5 our smartest fastest most useful model yet with built-in thinking that puts ex expert level intelligence in everyone's hands well it is to note that this is the first thinking model that would be available for all the free users as well well you can listen to this article to understand it but i'll directly go to the models you can visit platform.openai.com slash docs slash models and then let's visit gpt5 see so this is so this is GPT-5. You can see the pricing for the input is $1.25. For output it is $10. The reasoning of GPT-5 is higher. Now you have to understand that GPT-5 Pro for the Pro users will be the best model that would overpower all the other models. See the reasoning is higher. The speed is medium. Input you can give text and images and output you can only get text. So the context window is uh, 4 lakhs and max output tokens and uh, you can see the input, the, uh, the input price, the output price and the modalities, the endpoints, the features and the tools that it uses. So apart from it, you also have other models as GPT-5 mini. So GPT-5 mini is also another model that you can use and it is actually more faster and more cost efficient you can see this speed label for this is fast while for gpt5 it was actually medium so you can use that the reasoning is a bit low but still it is high and the price is just 0.25 dollars for input and two dollars for output the context window and the max output tokens remains the same other model that you have is GPT-5 chart which are actually quite inclined toward charting with the GPT models and it accepts both text and images output and produces text outputs. The context window remains the same and the price remains same. GPT-5 Nano, this is fastest and most cost efficient version of GPT-5. The reasoning is a bit low, it is average but the speed is very very fast. The input is 0.05 dollars and output is 0.4 dollars the context window and the output tokens still remains the same right so let's talk about something some about the benchmarks so you can actually visit this website and see what all the differences are in gpt 4 and gpt 5 in poetry cancer risk like these are some prompts that have been used to show the capabilities of gpt 5 and uh, you can see some of the ways GPT-5 is better than the previous model across domains which are more detailed and useful. The, so the evaluation, the most important evaluation that you, I know you might be focusing is on the SWE benchmarks because that is what matters when you start coding. But before that, let's see, it sets a new state of art across math, 94.6% on AI ME 2025 without tools. So see, this is GPT-5 Pro. This is GPT-5 Pro without tools. This one is with tools. And then there you have GPT-5 and normal GPT-5, not the Pro version. And then you have O3 and O4 o models. Well, directly going to the SWE benchmarks, you can see here with thinking it produces 74.9% and without thinking 52.8%. And this is GPT-5. I don't think they have used gpt5 pro here gpt5 pro will doing will be doing a lot better and in humanity's last exam in the full set i have explained what is humanity's last exam in kiro's ai id video you can visit that gpt5 pro with python plus search 
is has scored 42 percent and without tools 30.7 percent now chat gpt agent also stands out here scoring 41.6 percent which was released recently only you can visit the other benchmarks as well that generally compare other models like claude gemini and kiro with kiro is actually an id sorry not a model you can use gpt claude and gemini to compare all the different benchmarks and actually uh, see which one is the best so these were the different benchmarks this is the example of chain of thought prompting i've already explained this in my prompt engineering masterclass if you want to see that you can visit it but this is what the difference is see this o3 consider the following chart at what time does the blue curve across black curve uh, in plotting now consider the following chart now we have not given the image in o3 neither in gpt5 but o3 is giving you some answer but gpt5 says i can't see the chart you are referring to could you re-upload the image this is a very good feature well anyways now let's go on how can you access it for free now in open you can visit openrouter.ai and you can see that uh, it is a basically interface for llms J gemini 2.5 pro gpt5 chart and go below now you can see in the recent announcements gpt5 is now live you can click on them you can see the swe bench verified accuracy 74.9 percent which is better than cloud sonnet 4 now in the pricing plans you can visit gpt5 or you can visit gpt mini you can visit gpt5 nano and you can use your OpenAI keys. See, OpenAI requires bringing your own API key to use GPT-5 over the API. You can visit here, you can set up everything here and then you can use GPT-5 to check what kind of output it is producing. And the apps that are currently using the GPT-5 are Kilo Code, Klein, Rue Code, Open Code, Claude, uh, Code Buff, and Windsurf and Lovable have also uh, got the access of gpt5 you can actually visit them so this is based kilo code is basically ai coding agent for vs code you can download the client extension and visit them but going further i'll be taking you to cursor which has gpt5 so you can go to the agents you can edit and in the models you can see that you have gpt5 and it is mentioned it is open ai latest model 272k context window offered with free credits for paying users during the launch of the week version medium reasoning effort right so they are using the gpt5 and you can use this gpt5 and then start with your prompt gpt5 done and now you can start your vibe coding so this was all about gpt5 what do you think about gpt5 how well it is going to produce the outputs and what do you think about the developers who are currently using other models are there any uh, risk on the job of the developers let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye